indoors and outdoors, they are all around us. And if they are all around us, then they are all around our orchids as well. For some of us, they can be detrimental to our health and well-being. So why would we ignore them when it comes to our orchids, seeing as many of us grow our orchids indoors in our living space? We are not 100% protected from them while indoors, and neither are our orchids. We are definitely not safe from them outdoors, and for those of you also growing orchids outdoors, neither are your orchids. As the title of this video states, I'm going to talk about drafts, and I'm going to give you some key points as to how you are the main resource, the sensitivity barometer, so to speak, for identifying the possible problematic areas of where the drafts occur and pose a threat to your orchids. I do not want to sound over dramatic about drafts, but they are the silent culprit for bud blast and possible spotting on our orchids' leaves that would appear to just come out of nowhere. We find ourselves in many situations in which we see something new, usually not in a good way, happening to our leaves of our orchids, and it would appear to have come out of nowhere. Your assessment would be right. It literally did come out of nowhere because you may not even have changed the location of your orchid and still something odd happened, but why? And what do you need to do to change it? Can you even do anything to change it. It makes no difference if you're growing indoors exclusively or outdoors or both. Drafts are everywhere and all the time and they are sneaky. The main reason that they are sneaky is because of the need our orchids have to ensure some kind of fresh air exchange within our grow space and for that reason many of us use fans to keep the air moving and circulating around our orchids. Many may crack open a window to allow fresh air in for a little bit before closing it again and with that for the most part the orchids are are safe again or are they? But let's just say that we go into the room or rooms where our orchids are to crack open a window for a bit, but in doing so we do not close the door behind us because our intention is to just go in, open the window and leave again. The moment that window is open, with the door open as well, a draft is created. It may not be for a long time, it may be for only 10 minutes before we leave the room again, but it will be enough to create a draft that may have a negative effect on some orchids based on the angle they are positioned at. It may also result in bud blast. So what to do? We are caught between a rock and a hard place. We need fresh air. We need circulation. So how can we go about getting the balance right in order to avoid any negative side effects from drafts? Well, unfortunately, there are no 100% guaranteed ways of going about avoiding any drafts, doing any damage, because they are sneaky after all, but we can mitigate the threat by doing the following in our grow area or areas. Close all doors that lead to where the orchids are and where you want to crack open a window. Before opening that window, though, raise the temperature several degrees to have that buffer for when the window opens. Place your fans closer to the window you will be opening and try to direct the air that will come through that space away from your orchids so that the warmth of the ambient air will help raise the temperature of the new air coming in before it comes anywhere near the orchids. Usually during the winter we don't have the windows cracked open for too long for reasons and that is a good thing. All we need is some fresh air to come in without having to exaggerate the amount of time. 10 minutes is plenty, especially Especially with fans doing the work to circulate that air away and back to the orchids. Do not raise the speed of the fans. That will create a draft with colder air mixed in. It won't allow the fresh air to incorporate fully with the warm air before closing the window again. That is the easy part if our orchids are in a separate room. However, keep drafts in mind if you have orchids in hallways and or other doors open and close, especially the front door. Doesn't mean that you cannot have your orchids there but just a heads up in case you had orchids blooming out and buds started to blast again for no reason. As we associate bud blast also with moving the orchids while in bud and then we don't actually move the orchids at all and still get bud blast, well that sneaky draft may have just been the culprit. In many cases it is just unavoidable because we literally cannot stop our lives because we have orchids in bud or growing new structures. You see, even us walking past our orchids will cause a slight draft as we move through the air. So we really can't win when it comes to that. But we 
can be aware, and then at least we know the why, even if we cannot change the circumstances. I do not know about you, but when I see something happening to my orchids that I find weird, cannot be explained because everything else was dialed in and nothing had actually changed, well, I am that person that needs to understand the why. Then, if I make the necessary adjustments, great. But if I can't because of the way things are set up and laid out, then at least I know that and can accept the situation for what it is and stop being so needy to get it right. It may be that everything is just right as is, but our lifestyle got in the way. I mean, just imagine telling anyone that comes into your home to not move so fast so as not to create a draft because my orchids are in bud or growing a leaf right where you are at. <laughs> We get it, but not many non-orchid growers would. They might actually inwardly side-eye you and wonder if you're okay. <laughs> Before I get to other sneaky ways drafts occur, please be so kind as to give this video a like. I would also truly appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. At the time of filming this video, my analytics tell me that 54% of the viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So if you're in that percentage, please do me the favor and subscribe. The ratio is pretty high. And if you would like more information as to why you actually should subscribe, have any questions before you do subscribe, subscribe, please leave me a comment. I have never been great at marketing myself. Others, yes, but not myself. However, I can do my best to try and gain your vote of confidence that this channel is worth your time and support. Thank you so, so much. Okay, now back to our sneaky drafts. And I will tell you how you are the best barometer as to where to find your drafts. Just bear with me a minute because usually when talking about drafts, we think of cold air sneaking around our orchids, but drafts can happen during the warmer months of the year as well. Indoors and outdoors, don't forget. Warm drafts can be the cause for root tips to stop growing out of nowhere, especially when there isn't enough humidity to buffer against the dry air as well as bud blast can occur for no reason, right? So be mindful of your corners and possibly where there are narrower spaces, where drafts concentrate as they move around your space. Radiators are on, we move around and disperse that air and a sneaky warm draft will find something to desiccate or cause a bud or two to blast and possibly a little bit of condensation to occur and behold, unforeseen spotting appears on the leaves due to possible cell damage or a fungus making its home. Outdoors, you will notice certain dynamics with your orchids and it may be a couple of spots that show up as problematic. Alcoves, porticos, pillars, and patios that are set back from the main area as well as landscape boundaries all influence how what we consider a breeze will actually become a draft because of those influences. Now, how do you come into the equation as the best draft detector in and around your orchids? Woohoo, that's a new job description, draft detector. <laughs> anyway, how can you come into the equation as the best draft detector? Well, Consider when you feel a slight chill or a tiny bit warmer than normal. If I feel a chill, I need to wrap up, put on another layer or leave that space before it does damage to my health in form of a cold or sore bones and back. Either you move your orchid from that space to where it won't have the same experience as you or you will know right then and there, ta-da, that is a draft. Same with warmer air, a breeze. I'm not talking about strong wind outdoors because a strong wind outdoors usually does not create a draft. Drafts are created when the air is barely moving or not at all and for that reason I use the word breeze. With a breeze elsewhere being steady and even, corners, alcoves, porticos, pillars and setback terraces as well as setback rooms in the home, those are the areas where drafts will happen and possibly be the culprit for all the signs that we see on our orchids, which would, once again, appear to have come out of nowhere. Unfortunately, drafts are all around us and pretty much hard to avoid, but awareness is the first step to mitigating any damage and hopefully avoid any disappointing bud blast. If possible, implement the recommendations I mentioned earlier, and if not, as in my case, then at least I hope you have the same peace of mind that I have if something happened despite your care not being different. It wasn't you, it was the draft, and hopefully it will be a one-off case scenario and not something that can continues to be a headache for you and your collection. I hope this video was helpful. 
maybe some new intel that will stop you from being concerned about your collection. Most importantly, I hope it gave you peace of mind that you're in actual fact not doing anything wrong. Now, I'm going to get something for my lower back because I can feel a chill here. I'm filming in a space that clearly now has a draft. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a beautiful day on the condition though that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.